Hello and welcome. Today, what we are going to do is to solve our ODE for this harmonic oscillator or the damped harmonic oscillator problem using normal or uh, method or the exact solution, which is the mathematically correct method. The reason we do that because we want to compare our uh, result or the exact solution with the results we got from pins. So this is what we are going to do now. One thing I forgot to call is the omega here or the damped angular frequency here is going to be uh, used to uh, calculate uh, this target value. We will use it uh, using the uh, omega zero, which is the undamped uh, angular frequency. However, as I said, this is we're mainly we will focus mainly on the pins um, problem. These equations are important also to for uh, all of us to uh, understand. So let's do it. But first, we have to consider one thing, which is the initial condition. The initial condition for this system is, as we said, this uh, system will be um, will be fixed on the ground and you will have this spring and it will um, oscillate. So what we will do is we will uh, have this uh, mass, which will equal to one, and we will move it a bit to here and then leave it. That's our initial condition, which is mainly the location and the initial condition will be one and the speed at that location, it will be uh, zero and then it will continue. We will leave it and it will start to oscillate. So this is what we are doing, uh, what we want to, um, to do. We start the coding with, uh, first we have to um, call the needed libraries. For that, we will start with import torch and import torch.neural network as an in. Of course, torch and torch and neural network is uh, from basically PyTorch, which is the library that we are going to mainly use in our pens computation. So it's important to be a bit familiar with it, but I will explain everything as we go through it. So, but there are a lot to learn about it, but we will explain everything as we go through the code. So hopefully it will not stop you. So after that, we have import numpy as mp, which is numpy uh, library. It's the mathematical numpy library. And then import a matplotlib.pyplot as plt and shift enter to uh, run uh, this thing or maybe we restart the whole thing just shift enter and yeah I, I wanted this to be one to make sure that the, the memory is, is free so uh, here we added the libraries and what we will do is we will write a function. The function will take some parameters and will return us the exact solution. So here we will have def exact solution and we will have some inputs. I will talk about it later and then we will start writing code basically here. But first, let's uh, decide the uh, input parameters, and then we will take these input parameters and we start uh, computing the. Uh, we will start writing the exact solution. The input parameter is d, which is delta in uh, this guy, this delta, and this is omega, uh, like uh, zero. The what we talked about before and omega here uh, will be also considered w and here we will write w so this delta and mu is the coefficient of the uh, the damping coefficient and that will re like dissipate the energy as the computation goes and then we will have k is the uh, spring constant so here d will equals 2 and omega 0 we will call it as 20 or we will set it as uh, 20 now we will calculate 
the other values, which is in this case mu, which will be 2 multiplied d. Um, again, just look at the, the solution. We will consider m equals 1. Uh, for simplicity and then we will call delta multiply 2 it will be basically the equation we will put and then this is will be like it will be mu and then omega uh, uh, 0 squared will be k so here is going to be k equals the uh, d or not omega square like this this guy and it will be uh, squared so this is mu k omega 0 d and what do we need is we need the solution and in this case what the solution will be taken from 0 to 1 and we will set a 300 steps of computation now 0 to 1 means that time will be from 0 to the time will be one and 300 steps mean 300 numerical steps in this exact solution so we will calculate it 300 times basically the exact solution we pass it to the exact solution um, equation to do so we will start time we call it let's say test you can call it anything you want torch dot line space space and it will be from 0 to 1 and it will pass through 300 steps now we will reshape it to a two dimensional um, tensor we will see what do i mean by that by using the command view and it will be minus 1 to 1 so we will have uh, like one column and then we will have 300 rows of this um, it's and of course we will pass it to the um, exact solution but before that let's let's take this one and see what do i mean so let's uh, uh, run this thing torch and line 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 space here sorry yeah this one there's no e so lens space here you will see from zero and the last one is one these are 300 steps so if we want to we want to reshape it so with just like hash this thing and then we take this and see the change so we can see that now what we have is these become two-dimensional uh, in which you will have uh, every row will will be or every uh, like number will be in 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 parentheses so this is how we will add this to the our um, pins because what we will do is we will give it the time and the pins network will give us the u or will give us the location in which this mass is so so this is what uh, this is why we do like this now what we need to do is we will pass this to the exact solution so as we said we use u as because it's the uh, the value that we want to calculate exact solution solution and then what we will do here is we will pass d we will pass omega zero and then we will pass only t test so we take these and we put them here or actually we can just take this one make it um, just shift enter put it in here and this is what we will run later if i run it now it will be error of course so here what do we need is we need to take d omega zero and t test and uh, or we can just call it t like this and then we will calculate the exact solution which is u the location of the mass at this specific time again what do we need we need to go to this thing 
and here we will have omega we will have omega 0 and delta is already we already set these values 2 and 20 so omega we start omega uh, and with that we will write omega simply numpy we use numpy as a library and we take the value of square root and then what we will have omega 0 squared minus d squared that's it what did we do we just applied the equation so this guy now in here we have pi and we have a that we we said we will calculate from these uh, two uh, i will just write these values and again there is <laughs> some story how to do it in exact um, to get the exact solution but from Penn's point of view, we have a method. It's, it calculates the exact solution. We use it in order to compute the, uh, the Penn's solution and compare it. So uh, for phi, we will call uh, mp.arctangent. And I think this is like the sh phase shift. And then we will have A equals 1 over 2 multiplied numpy dot cosine and it will be fine so these are the constants in in this equation this is a and this is phi now after that what do we need we need to calculate this exponential this cosine and basically consider them and put them in the value of u so far all of these are numbers means uh, actually we can we can print them so print uh, you can see w this will be just a number let's make it like this w and like basically the other things so these are we will get an actual number a but the solution we will have to um, use torch because we will we will calculate based for the whole uh, time which is a uh, 300 numerical steps uh, as we said from time will change from zero to one so in order to do that it is we use torch so we uh, we calculate cosine or cosine this is going to be this part of the equation cosine phi plus wt so it will be torch dot cosine and then phi plus w multiplied t of course t is already um, a, a tensor and it will apply the uh, this uh, scalar uh, like multiplication and phi uh, will add phi and then all of it will be in cosine the other one is exponential equals torch dot exponential and then just look at the equation minus delta t so exponential minus delta t and that's it if you also want to print it it will be a good thing but maybe this will be this will be a big thing because it's uh, a bit long 300 steps but we can see the how the it will be written uh, the other one is the same uh, okay i'll just put it exponential always print to get things uh, more understandable now what we will do is we will um we have the exponential we have the the cosine we just apply this equation so to do though to do that u equals exponential just write it down multiplied a multiplied cosine and return return u that's it that's how you compute it and then you will of course these are all already tensor this is tensor just write it like this it will you will get it 
as S and then just shift enter here, shift enter here, and shift enter here, you will get the answers. The first ones are, these are the numbers that uh, using the NumPy um, library, we just use NumPy library to apply this mathematical operation. And then the last here is just um, the cosine. And of course, uh, later we also print exponential. So if we go, it will be really long. You will have also here the exponential value. Uh, of course, it used to be the input from 0 to 1, but now, of course, got altered. So you will not see here 1, of course, because it took the t, the tensor, and then construct the other tensor. Um, okay, just to, this is for you to do, but of course, if we, every time we run it, it will print everything. So we'll just remove this print statement and then run again. With that, we got the U exact. Just what the last thing we need to do is we need to plot this. It should start from one and then get damped. In order to do that, we just uh, use um, NumPy array. Uh, you use uh, uh, matplotlib, sorry, dot figure, fig size, equals six three and plot dot plot the x will be the time and oh sorry and the y will be U exact, we will take all the values for the first column, and here we want to take because here it will consider. Um, um, I, I didn't try not to put this one, but uh, I'm afraid it will be like tensor. So here we will say, like, we need all the uh, rows and the first value, which is the number, basically. So here is, uh, we will plot them, and of course, just plt.x label will be time, and plt.y label will be uh, u, and shift enter. Uh, uh, fi figure and now we have the plot of course we compute all of them uh, quite fast of course it's the exact solution so we can see that we have this um, a plot for the, uh, the damped uh, oscillation for uh, this uh, problem Next, we will start writing our pens uh, solution. And of course, we a little bit will talk um, how like pens will, will like how to, to actually apply it into pens means how to compute the losses, how to set the optimizer and so on. So let's go step by step. Uh, for now, what we have done is simply got the exact solution, uh, save it in uh, this guy, uh, uExact that we will use later to compare our computation with the actual pens uh, solution so see you next time